Welcome to RC Studio. So in this small video, we're going to alter some joysticks from the asset store in order them to use the control pad in the new input system without altering your player's goal and without altering your projects all together. So let's get started. To follow along in this project, all you need to do is to have the new input system and the device simulator from the package manager. In order to do that, let's go to Windows, Package Manager. Here you have Package Unit Registry, type Input, and then the input system will pop up. And then you're going to hit Install in this little corner. And to have to download the device simulator, let us remove this. Go to the icon here from the Advanced, select Advanced Project Setting, and Enable Preview Packages. Once you enable pre Preview Packages, Let's go back and type device and the device simulator package is going to be there. And then you're going to hit um, install the device simulator. You're going to see it in the game tab here. Then you're going to have two selections, the simulator or the game select simulator. And then you're going to select your device of preference and see how you want to see the project um, be used in a particular device of your choosing. So as you can see in this Unity project, all I have is a cube that represents my player and I have a plane that is the floor representing the floor. And I only have a basic script of the for the player, which is a control a player's controller. And I have a input action from the new input system of the player. That input action I created or generated a C sharp um, script in which this that is how I am using the new input system. If I open my player's controller, as you can see, it's a very basic script. And then here in the input selection, I'm enabling and disabling my inputs. And here on my update function, I am moving my player around using the tr transform translate. So I'm gonna close it up. I'm gonna show you what it's doing. I play. So moving my player with my gamepad. Okay. I'm moving my player with a keyboard in my hand. Easy peasy. Now, let's just say that I want to add the UI functionality in order to move my player with a joystick. Uh, if you've been around from the input system, there's actually something called the UI controls that allow us to make any image to react as a button or as a joystick. Uh, we're not gonna do that because personally, I don't like the joystick that those scripts implement. But if you haven't seen it, I'm going to show you now. If you know, just skip to the next time step that we're going to do alter some UI's joystick of our own. If you, you don't know what the on stick screen is, let us create our own UI canvas. Let us go to UI, select image. That image is going to be named joystick. And personal preference, instead of canvas, I like to name it UI. And on the Kanban scaler, select scale with screen size, reference resolution, go to 1920 by 1080. And then the joystick image that in here in the rect transform, select and hit control shift out and select the left bottom. And then we're going to move our joystick in for our preference for the pose. Here, I'm gonna uh, 25 and then 125. So select that joystick image and then select that a component, type the on screen stick, which I already have it here, and then tell the system that you wanna use that image as if it was a left stick gamepad. Select play, and then we're gonna move our image. As you can see, it moves our player. As a way to experiment and to prototype, it's actually nice to have this script. The thing is that personally, I don't like it because in order to work, you need to hit hit directly to the image in order to move. And you can play around with the range, but it's not very, how can you say, comfortable in the long run if your players need to play along and depending on the size of the hands of the player that is very uncomfortable to keep going so that is why we're going to alter some joystick to make it behave similar to the on-screen stick 
script and then we're gonna reuse it any anytime we want so the joystick that we are gonna customize in order to behave with the control path are the one from the starter package from Unity. You're gonna look for the starter asset third person character controller. We're gonna use the mobile's um, UIs that it provides us in the package. All you have to do is just hit open in Unity, open Unity Elvis allow and open Unity editor and then hit import. By any chance, if that doesn't work for you as it is doing this to me now just add it to your asset package from your unity account go to windows package manager and here we select package unit registry uh, select my assets and then type starter and the package is going to be there then hit import and then select now because we don't need the entire project to download all we need to do is go down and select the folder that it says mobile and then hit import what is import just close the window you're gonna have an error from the package since it's trying to find the reference from the entire project assets so select this and find the script that is causing the error and delete it in this folder we have plenty of prefabs of the mobile's inputs that the package uses um, one of them the one that i usually like is the one from the starter asset joystick drag this entire asset as you can see automatically it's going to give you joystick to move your player a look joystick a jump or around input we're going to only need we're going to be playing around with the joystick but the same method that i'm using you can alter it in any way you want so i'm gonna just disable these three entirely and then before further along since we have a us canvas we need to add an event system in our project so right click go to ui and scroll down to event system and then here it says replace with input system ui input module select it and then we can start using the ui so if we hit play we're gonna know that it's not gonna do nothing but if you have played around with these assets every time you move the joystick he's trying to send a vector 2 in order to move the player so we're gonna alter that constant so how do we jump into altering that so let's say here i'm gonna open my ui virtual joystick the one that comes from the package i have it here and so you can see that everything is documented i'm gonna back to my web browser with section the on-screen controls here in this section there's something called writing custom on-screen controls that explain how the control path of this script works so we're gonna do mostly the same i'm gonna put it side by side so you can see how i'm doing everything first thing we're gonna do is to remove some um, variables around from the script we're gonna remove the header output because we don't need it and then we're gonna find the method that is um, in a way half the vector two output later here it is output pointer event value inside the script so let's remove this because it's causing an error and remember this section here because we're gonna we're gonna use it later on the script itself is herring from mono behavior but in order to make our own custom ice screen controller to use the control path we need to inherit from on-screen control so we're going to eliminate the mono behavior and we're gonna type on screen control and we're gonna see a few errors because it doesn't say here but you you need to inherit from two namespaces one of them is using unity engine input system dot on screen then we're gonna add another one that is using unity engine dot input system that layout we're gonna save it don't worry we have another error that we're gonna fix right now and then following along we need to create this line over here let's go type input control control then the layout here in the example is telling us that we're gonna use a layer of button which is a true and false boolean zero or one and we're not going to use a button we're going to use a vector two so vector 
two. And then here in the serialized field, it says here there's a private string. It says control path, but let's do something fun. So underscore select your input stick. We're going to later on see where we're going to do that. So now we're going to type the last section, the control path to pass our input to the new input to the control path. So it's got protected override string control pass internal yes him finish that long string then in the section get if we follow along the documentation we need to put the private string that we named just a few seconds ago so select your put stick and the get the string and the set we're going to put the sm string but this time we're going to add equal to value so we're going to do that so select your stick equals to value so as you can see all the errors are no, long, no longer on the script so let us go down to the script and to this output event value and then we're gonna add what you see here send value to control so we're gonna send value to control what are we gonna send so we are sending a vector two so we need to acquire that vector two this joystick already has something and it's the vector two pointer position every time you you move the joystick it's gonna create that vector two so we're gonna put that to the value so it's gonna go straight to the control path of the new input system so we're gonna pointer position save it and let us go back to the unity let us wait to compile so as you can see here let me just scroll this a little so you can see why here is to select your input stick so in this case we're gonna use the gamepad left stick as you're gonna see it here so let me remove myself from the scene real quick so select your stick just let's go back gamepad left stick and done so all we need to do is to alter the joystick without touching the player's controller or nothing to add a new script and then we hit play and without touching the control pad or keyboard let me put my hand here select the joystick and we're moving the player so all you need to do is just to find the output for the joystick asset you're using and just customize it to use the control path in the new input system now i'm gonna have to make a little note here um, the new this type of logic only works if you're using the new input system as a generated C sharp script. Um, this logic doesn't work if you're using the player's input component to use the new input system or to use the input actions. So why I have no idea. All I know is that doing this project and following on doing some experimentation, it only works if you're you're using the new input system as a generic c sharp script obviously the project and some of the links are going to be in the description below and until now you're going to use it to any joystick um if you try to use this logic in any other joystick let me know so if i need to correct the path or i need to correct the method once again thank you for being here with me until the next one have a lovely day